All Russian attacks in the north of Kharkov region have been repelled and no territory has been lost, head of the regional military administration Ola Sinihubov said on air. The enemy has launched a new wave of offensive actions in the north of the Kharkov region. These are settlements in the Kharkov and Chugov regions, and in the Volchensk direction. Our combat brigades responded the enemy with fire. All offensives have been repelled. There have been no losses of territory yet, Sini Hubov noted. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said his country's forces had been ready for the attack. Ukraine met them there with troops, brigades and artillery, Zelensky, said at a press conference in Kiev. Russian troops have launched attacks across the Ukrainian border to the north of Kharkiv in a potential effort to open a new front in the war. Earlier, Ukrainian Defense Ministry said Russian forces attempted to break through the defense line using armored vehicles at about 5 a.m. on Friday near the town of Vovchansk. Ukraine maintains tens of thousands of troops in the north of the country, far from the active battlefronts. T-72s weren't even close. Abrams is still on the front line in Ukraine. American Abrams tanks are still on the front lines in Ukraine, but tank battles in which they excel have been rare. Business Insider writes, citing a soldier from the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade. It all depends on the situation. You see, we don't fight so that it's purely tank against tank, he said. According to the fighter, the T-72 didn't even stand next to the Abrams. He added that the situation on the battlefield has become very difficult due to Russia's advantage in manpower and equipment. That's why we have to adjust our actions. These tanks are designed primarily for direct contact. Go out and destroy enemy equipment, the military man said. Over the past few days, he said, his team has used its Abrams tanks to destroy Russian infantry and equipment. Tank operators highlighted several key features of the Abrams that give them an edge in combat. Among these are the tank's high-quality thermal imaging sites, which allow for superior target acquisition in various conditions. The tank's accuracy, maneuverability and stabilization systems also stand out, ensuring that despite its heavy weight, it remains highly effective in combat scenarios. The United States has delivered a battalion of 31 M1A1 Abrams tanks to the Ukrainian army. This delivery was part of a broader commitment by the US to support Ukraine in its defense against Russian aggression. The M1A1 Abrams, a main battle tank developed by the United States, represents a significant evolution in armored warfare with its introduction in the 1980s and continuous upgrades. Associated Press previously reported that Ukrainian troops began to withdraw American Abrams M1A1 tanks from the front line. The 92nd Brigade stated that the firepower and relevance of armored vehicles on the battlefield has decreased significantly due to the advent of unmanned systems. However, press officer of the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade, Anastasia Blishchik, noted that Abrams tanks continue to operate in the Avdiivka direction and that the Ukrainian armed forces did not withdraw them from the front line. Оторвало, короче, вот башню. Сейчас мы находимся в Александровке. Наряды лежат. А вон отлетела башня. Сейчас подойдем к ней. Вот так. Короче, работали.